Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quarterly faves video only because I didn't do a faves video for January through March. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quarterly faves just this once. These are the products that I've definitely been using a lot uh, January through March. Um, they have a very special place in my heart for different reasons. I'm definitely going to try to keep this short because I did end up using a lot of the same products throughout that time frame. So let's get started. The first product I'm going to talk about is the Shea Moisture 100% Coconut Oil and Organic Shea Butter All Over Hydration Body Lotion. This body lotion is like a heaven scent especially because I have really dry skin during the winter, the colder months. Um, my skin gets extremely dry, especially on my lower half. So like my legs are a wreck during the colder months. But this lotion, it definitely helps to keep my skin hydrated. It has a really light but pleasant fragrance, which actually dissipates after a while. It smells like coconut oil, uh, well like coconut period. But it doesn't have any parabens, no mineral oils, sulfates, no animal testing. It's an intensive moisturizing lotion, which is crucial, especially if you have drier skin types. So this definitely is one of the lotions that I will consistently be using during the colder months. Um, it works. The next product I'm going to get into is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I am the shade medium 62 and this is a full coverage 24 hour transfer resistant matte finish oil free foundation Whew, that's a mouthful but this foundation is my favorite full coverage um, I feel that the color works really well for my complexion I also find that it does last for a very long time so I don't really have to color crack much when I'm using it full coverage foundations if it's a great foundation it will cover everything it doesn't matter what it is it will cover everything so I really like this foundation I feel that like I said the color matches me really well I feel that it lasts very long um, this is great especially when I want to do like really high glam if I'm going out and I'm gonna be out with friends for a long period of time I find that this foundation works magic the next product I'm gonna get into is the L'Oreal Paris infallible paints this color is nude star it's one of my favorites as well as spicy blush um, I do have the entire collection it is 14 different shades but I really like these shades because they do go on they have let me start there a doe foot like applicator I really like this color because it is very close to like what I would wear if I'm interested in I'm rocking a very nude lip um, they're very comfortable to wear they don't dry they go on like a gloss and then they leave like a really nice pigment on the lips which I like um, yeah I guess what I really like about them is because they go on like a gloss and they have a really nice color payoff but like I said they're very comfortable to wear um, I don't end up reapplying every couple of hours, which I also like. Um, so yeah, they wear very well, and like I said, they're very comfortable to wear. So these have definitely been a favorite, favorite, especially the spicy blush shade. The next product I'm gonna get into is the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. So don't mind my teeth now. I've been like shirking for like the past week and a half, but. I do have another toothpaste I will say that I do have two toothpaste um, but I really like this toothpaste because I definitely did see results within a week um, the only thing like I said I do have two toothpaste that I like to use because I don't like the taste of optic white um, it has a very strange taste which is why I end up using another toothpaste after to brush the remainder of my mouth so that would be my gums my you know the insides of my cheeks and my tongue as well but you definitely get results when using optic white which I absolutely love and it's legit a product that you find at your drugstore depending on of course how much a toothpaste normally costs in your area sometimes four five six dollars whatever it is 
definitely grab Optic White because I definitely did see results and I'm definitely going to go back to using them while well, using the toothpaste, excuse me, mouthful going on. I'm definitely going to go back to using it because like I said, I did see results and I'm very happy with how my teeth were looking. So definitely Optic White, definitely going to keep using for the next, I'm not even going to say the next few months, I'm definitely going to keep using Optic White. Let me just say that. The next product I'm going to discuss is actually a product that I recently did a video with. It is the TGIN Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel. What I like about this gel is that it has a soft hold, there's no crunch, it smells awesome, my hair is really shiny after using it and I have a ton of definition. Um, I really liked it the first time I used it because like I said it gave me a lot of definition but my hair was still soft. I really value definition when it comes to like my wash and goes but even then sometimes I prefer to have bigger hair and less definition. All depends on how I'm feeling. But this gel is bomb. Like it smells amazing. I definitely saw results right away. It didn't dry my hair out, which is a plus, especially with my hair being the color that it is. That's very important. That's something that you definitely want to consider, especially if you have color treated hair. Um, this also doesn't have sulfates, parabens, lanolin, petroleum, mineral oil, artificial colors, or animal testing. So definitely if you are interested in products that are very natural, have great ingredients, and um, don't have, well excuse me, are against animal testing I will say, definitely check out the TGIN brand itself, but definitely if you're looking for a gel that has a pretty decent hold, like I said it's a soft hold, doesn't dry your hair out but gives a ton of definition and shine, definitely check out the TGIN Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel. The next product I'm going to talk about is the NYX, NYX Cosmetics uh, Prismatic Shadow in Mermaid. Now I'm very sad my eyeshadow broke and I really don't want to get it all over the place but I definitely will link um, a couple of the photos that I use this shadow in. It's a very pretty, excuse me, teal color which I was using for like my inner duck area. Just to give my um, eyeshadow looks a different look, I mainly do like a normal, you know, highlight color in the, you know, in the corner of my eye, but I really wanted to try something different, and this shade was the perfect way for me to do that. I definitely, I'm going to replace it. It's about five or six dollars, um, so it's really not a big deal to replace, but definitely this color is just bomb not only for like the inner corner area but of course like your lower lash line and of course a balm lid color but I definitely grabbed it mainly for the inner corner of my eye so definitely if you can grab a shade like mermaid yeah mermaid five dollars you can't go wrong I definitely want to thank you guys for watching my quarterly phase video that I promise I'm gonna try to do one time only um yeah I will definitely try to keep up with doing a monthly faves video just so you know you can see what I've been using for that month that breakdown I definitely want to thank you guys for watching if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so uh, don't forget of course to like this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you have any questions or you want to chat just about something that I've been using or questions about something that you know you want to know if I've been using definitely leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.